But let's switch gears now and talk about asbestos exposure and smoking and how that relates to lung cancer. I have represented a number of clients over the years who had lung cancer and were surprised that they were eligible for any compensation because they smoked and they thought, well, smoking causes lung cancer. That's probably what did it. And it's easy to think that if you don't understand the very unique relationship between asbestos exposure and cigarette smoking. So let's see what Dodson and Hammer's book has to say about that. Cigarette smoke and asbestos are thought to be complex carcinogens that can affect multiple steps in the multi-stage process of carcinogenesis. Carcinogenesis is the process of cancer starting and spreading. So cigarette smoke and asbestos are both thought to be complex carcinogens, things that can cause cancer, and they both can affect multiple steps in the carcinogenesis process. And then it says, and that they interact synergistically for the induction of lung cancer or the creation of lung cancer. Now, synergy these days is kind of a, of a corporate buzzword, but the original meaning was that something was greater than the sum of its parts. And in this case, what that means, as written here, the composite effect among insulation workers and derived from studies approximates a multiplicative model. Multiplicative, meaning you take your risk of getting lung cancer from smoking and you take your risk of lung cancer from being exposed to asbestos. You don't add them, you multiply them. Both smoking and asbestos are highly relevant to the risk of developing lung cancer, but in an interactive or multiplicative fashion. For the average individual in this population, smoking increased the risk of lung cancer about tenfold and asbestos increases is about fivefold. The two together increase the risk about 50-fold. So put another way, you are 50 times more likely to get cancer if you smoke and are exposed to asbestos than if you do neither. You're 10 times more likely to get lung cancer from smoking and five times more likely to get it from asbestos, but 50 times more likely if you have both exposures. Thank you.